Hey everyone, it's Susie with Dragonfly Bees. I'm an online reseller, primarily in jewelry. And if you're new to my channel, I share and showcase my experiences sourcing inventory. It could be through unboxings of jewelry mystery lots, perhaps grab bags, jewelry jars, maybe thrift shop hauls. So, most importantly, it's about having fun, finding treasures, and learning together. So if this interests you, stick around. Hey everyone, it's Susie with Dragonfly Bees. I'm an online reseller, primarily in jewelry, and in this video, I will be talking about the designers. The folks who are responsible for some of these pieces that I took out of um, my Etsy shop and my Poshmark closet. So, let's start off with this one. This here is a uh, salmon coral necklace. Very long. This is vintage, by the way. And that's salmon coral polished and faceted. And it has these gorgeous AB crystals all throughout. These beads are graduated. Just a really beautiful piece. Now, let me show you who made this. There is the hook clasp, and the designer is it's upside down, of course. Um, now it's backwards. Can you see that? It says Chan Lu. Okay, so this necklace is 36 inches long. Um, I have it on Poshmark for $79. It retails for, oh gosh, um, I think it was 300 and change. Isn't it pretty? So, next up is this iconic bracelet that put Chan Lu on the map. This is her iconic wrap bracelet. It's a this one here is called the five wrap bracelet because of the length. She uses only um, the best stones she can find. These are semi-precious. Um, stones and each and every one of her pieces of jewelry are handmade um this here is made up of um hmm looks like agate she calls some of these um blue stones like i believe blue magic and lace agate uh there may be some jasper in there uh this one has um three loops so it can be adjustable to, let's see, 32 inches, 33, 34. Um, and this is actually a sterling silver somewhere, some component. This is her iconic um, button closure. And it says Chan Lu on it. And it also is marked 925 on the back. This actually retails for hmm, $245. So I have it listed on Poshmark for $99. I believe this wrap bracelet um, was purchased, I, I found it at Savers. Yeah, I actually found this at Savers on the wall and I think it was... Um, not too much. I mean, it's been a while. So let, let me talk about Chan Lu. Um, she was born in Vietnam. She came to uh, America and uh, to Boston, actually. And um, then she moved to L.A. to attend college. 
She earned two degrees back to back in business and fashion design. And that was uh, in 1975. Um, she had two degrees in fashion design and, and business. So then next thing you know, she started selling her designs in boutiques and shops in LA. And um, in 19, and that's when, oh, here's a really great story. So she's selling her, her, her designs and necklaces and bracelets in LA. And who walks in but uh, Brad Pitt. So what does he do? He likes this bracelet and buys it for his uh, girlfriend at the time, Jennifer Aniston. So paparazzi took a photo of her sitting between Brad Pitt and George Clooney and they're at the Ormani fashion show and she's wearing it. So the rest is history. So Chan Lu has um, really uh, gone far since. Uh, she, she, she had um, made jewelry for um, films or was it TV shows? Twilight, yes, Twilight and The Hunger Games. And um, one thing really great about her company that she basically started in um, 1996 is that everything is handmade, but she pays her workers real pay and real benefits. So, and then um, because like in those countries... They don't really pay fair wages, but she she does. So, um, I mean, she also supports like Haitian artisans, uh, Sean Penn's um, project, uh, breast cancer awareness, and um, I believe arts some arts project program for children, and uh, yeah. She has come a long way. She left um, her company and, and really left her legacy to her niece who, who runs it now. So she's got um, stores worldwide. So yeah, that's Chan Lu. Moving on, we're going to talk about this one. Anyone recognize this? Let me show you the hang tag there it is anybody this is RJ Graziano a veteran New York City designer for over 30 years it's really well known and there's his initials RJG on the back and this is one item that I have of his, which is, I guess, maybe from the 80s, I think. I don't know. It looks like it, right? This metal mesh bib necklace with all these crazy fun faux pearls all throughout. And um, the back has that lobster clasp and uh, an extender with... with his hang tag. So this I have on, um, I think on Etsy for $24.99. So let's talk about uh, RJ Graziano, New York City based. He um, originally designed uh, exclusively for Bloomingdale's and um, they're on the Upper East Side on Lexington Avenue. So I remember when I used to go to uh, Baruch up there um, that didn't last. Uh, I would always go to Bloomingdale's just to like go inside the department store and look at everything. Um, back, back when, uh, we were able to go into places. So, um, so he designed ex exclusively for Bloomingdale's and then next thing you know, half a year later, uh, he has a full page ad in the New York Times, um, for his jewelry uh, for Lord and Taylor. 
And then he gets featured in Neiman Marcus's uh, catalog. So yeah, he's come a long way. He was named what, like one of the top 10 brands in, in the press in 2007. I mean, I'm talking with uh, Cartier, uh, Lavin, David Yerman, you know. So like Alexis Bittar, his designs, as well as Chan Liu's designs, were worn by celebrities. Uh, Julia Roberts, yeah, I worked with her. Uh, Taylor Swift, Catherine Zeta-Jones. I've seen her in person on set, but never spoke to her. Uh, Queen Lativa, who is filming The Equalizer right now in New Jersey. Um, and Katy Perry. So yeah, R.J. Graziano, and that's the next um, designer. So let's see who else. Okay, let's let's start. Let's talk about these thermoset um, jewelry pieces, and they are by um, Charel. Charel was actually established in Brooklyn, New York around 1945. I mean, right now, I mean, if you see Charelle, that's great because they're rare. I mean, the quality, medium. They work with colored plastics, uh, thermoset. And, um, I mean, this particular necklace I have listed on Etsy for just $20. Why? Because it's not in the, the set. It's not in the greatest of condition. Um, I mean, this is old. This is, this is probably from the 40s, 50s. Anyway, there's a lot of, look at that um, glue. These are clip earrings, and um, on the back of the clip, it says Chirelle. I don't know if you can see that too clearly. Uh, okay, my lighting is really bad. I, uh, the windows open. I have natural light as well as the, the ring light, so it's not really showing up as good, but... Believe me, it says Sherelle there in, in uppercase. Okay, so yeah, these are the clip-ons. And this necklace is kind of like a choker necklace. It's silver tone. Um, no, it's not. It's gold tone. And it's got that hook closure, little ball at the end. I mean, this is gold tone, and then, I don't know, this looks silver tone to me. So, yeah, if, if you look closely, I see lots of glue. I mean, people want to collect it. That's why I only have it listed for 20 But, yeah, this is a Sherelle. Is that how you say it? C-H-A-R-E-L. So... That's that. But I also want to show a better um, example of thermoset. This is clean and nice and uniform in color and also vintage. But it's, it's probably fine but faded off because I can't see it. It would have been like right there. I mean, I see something, but it's faded. But this is another um, example. But I don't know who the maker is for this um, particular necklace, which is also thermoset. Okay. Last thing I want to show you and talk about is... Um, whoa. Let me move those back. Is this designer... Look at these biggie, big honkers. I mean, 
They're faux pearl, of course, but just really oddly shaped, very organic looking. They're clip-ons. I mean, just look at the condition. They're really light. They're probably hollow. Uh, these came in a Shop Goodwill vintage lot. Oh, gosh. I probably got that, like, in uh, last year in May or April. They are signed. Alice Cavaness. Yes, Alice Cavaness. Alice Cavaness um, was started back in the 40s. All the way until the late 90s. Um, she passed away in 83. But her jewelry was sold in like the finest department stores. And here's another example of her jewelry. This is sweet. AB coated like a cluster of rhinestones. But look at the back. Look at how ornate the back of these earrings are. And there's her signature. Of course, it's upside down because I always do that. Alice Cavaness. I mean, I have these on Etsy for the longest time. I, I, I don't know, 15 bucks maybe. Um, but yeah, Alice, uh, her company is actually based in Long Island, New York. And um, I think that's all I know about her. So I just know that it was established in the 40s. I mean, so if you ever see anything by this designer, that is so vintage. So, okay. This wraps up this real quick little uh, um, video. Talking about some of the items that I have and, and the designers behind them. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you uh, maybe learned something new. And um, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And the, ring the bell so that way you'll, you'll be alerted when I post my next video. Uh, thank you so much for spending this time with me. And I hope you'll come back and see me in the next one. Bye.